Hi, I'm Audrey Thomas, founder of Organized Audrey, and today's productivity pointer is a tip in Microsoft Outlook on how to convert an email into a calendar appointment. For those of you who have watched some of my segments in the past, you know that I'm, I'm often preaching the topic of stop using your email inbox as a virtual to-do list and instead put emails to where you need to work on them or reference them later. So in just a second, I'm going to show you and demonstrate you on my actual screen how to convert an email to a calendar appointment. This short video is going to demonstrate how easy it is to move an email to your calendar. And I'm going to demonstrate two different types of emails. The first email is this email from Delta Airlines. It does not have any attachments and it's simply a confirmation for an upcoming trip to Vancouver, British Columbia. And as you can see right here in the subject line of the email, it has my confirmation number. So I've got the email highlighted. I'm going to simply drag it over here to my travel date, which is June 15th. And I'm going to let go and a brand new calendar appointment populates. And as you can see, it took the subject line of that email and put it as the subject of my new calendar appointment. And at this time, I could change it if I felt a need to do it, but I really don't. It's really okay. And let's just say that my travel time was going to be um, 9.30 to, let's say, 1.30. I'm going to press Save and Close. And now I'm going to take you back over to my calendar so you can see what it looks like on my calendar. It's kind of cool. So right there it is, my complete email confirmation with my confirmation number that I'll need on my travel day. So at this time what I would do is I would go back to my inbox and hit the delete key because I put that email where I need to access it later. The second kind of email that I want to demonstrate is this email. This is an email from my admin, Judy, and it has an attachment, an attachment that I need to spend a couple hours reviewing and studying and taking a look at. And so it represents something that I want to block off on my calendar. And so I'm going to take this email and highlight it, but instead of doing a regular left click and drag, I'm going to right click on my mouse and drag it to the date on the calendar where I want to work. So I'm just going to drag it to, to this date on my calendar, which is February 29th, that I'm going to let go. And when I do that, you can see that I get these menu options, and that's because there's an attachment with this email and it recognizes that. So what I'm going to say is I want to copy it here as a new appointment with the attachment. And this is what it looks like. So a new calendar appointment pops open. It takes the subject line of Judy's email and populates it as the new subject of my calendar appointment. And I might want to just um, kind of clean it up at this time. I might rename it and just say review Department of Defense presentation. DOD is my, my own acronym. And I'm going to block off some time between 9.30 and 11.30 to do that. And I'm going to press Save and Close. Now let's go into the calendar so you can see what this particular one looks like. So here it is, Review Department of Defense Presentation. I'm going to double click onto this. And here's the icon of the email. And I can now double click onto this icon. And I get Judy's original email with the attachment of the PowerPoint that I need to take a review of. And I'm not even in my inbox. I'm in my calendar, but I can review it. So now what I'm going to do, now that I know it's on my calendar, I'm going to go back to my inbox and I'm going to delete that email because once again, I have moved the email to where I need to work on it later. So that's how easy it is. So right now what I'd love for you to do when you're done watching this video is to go take a look at the emails sitting in your inbox and look at the ones that could be drawn very easily over to your calendar and turned into an appointment and then remove it from your inbox. Yes, remove it from your inbox, hit the delete key and be done with it. I hope you have enjoyed this productivity pointer brought to you by Organized Audrey where our goal is to help you get more done for the less stress. Make it a great day.